everyone! Today we are going to do our January book haul. I actually got a lot of books this month. Yes, you did. Considering I'm supposed to be getting rid of them. Uh, Christmas happened. That's and true. Boxing Day sales kind of happened, so. It's unavoidable. Yes. So, I got got quite a few penguin related things. You did. This month. I'll start with this one. It's a, this was a Christmas gift and it uh, is this great book of all the different um, penguin designs through the year. So it's 1935 to 2005 and it is kind of the perfect gift for me it because is. I love penguins so much and I, I love the design and I sp now I specifically can like look up like, different artists and things like that and tie them together in ways that I hadn't done yet. So it's Fantastic. very exciting. In other penguin related things, I got Goodbye to Berlin and the selected poems of D.H.O. Lawrence. Brilliant. I got a mitt, I got this one because I hadn't I don't have a gray penguin. <laughs> so yes, that is why I got that. My first book was Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. And uh it's a book I've been meaning to read for a while. It's you the, read it yet? I've never actually read it. I've read Dick, but I've never read uh, this particular Dick. And I've been meaning to because it's the basis of uh, Blade Runner, of yeah. course. And it's really good. And I've heard it's very good and significantly different from the film. Which very different. I'm curious to know how different. I got the this collection of short stories by Joyce Carol Oates. That was a gift from me. Yes. Was it a Christmas gift? No, that was just a for the hell of it gift. Oh, I like it because the woman is wearing a pretty rad dress on the cover. <laughs> she is. So I feel like it's going to be good. Next is a book I picked up sort of on a whim. I, I like Latin American literature, so I thought, what the hell? I'll give it a chance. It's called Traveler of the Century by uh, Andre Newman. I'm not too sure what it's about. Again, all I really know is that... What happened to it's a, it, it was a cheap copy, so it was beat out. All I really knew was that Boliano, who I admire, endorsed him, and uh, someone else endorsed him. Enough that I decided I'd give it a chance. So, I'm gonna give it a chance. I would say this is silly, but it's not really. Um, I became interested in him through an article I just took I looked up a quote about people working in Saturday Night Live and I found mm -hmm. out that he'd been the longest working actor on Saturday Night Live and determined that Daryl Hammond is a fascinating guy he seems and he's interesting. he's quite a life story actually so um Find you got me this for Christmas I did get you that for yes, Christmas so I'm really excited to read it actually because he is he seems like a a really fascinating guy, actually. Okay, the next author, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I'm too embarrassed. I'm not... I'm, it's just one of those cases where I'm, I'm only going to embarrass myself more by trying to pronounce his name. This is his name. <laughs> this is his book, The Whispering Muse. That's one that I read, right? I think it's the one yeah, that I, I really It was really this or it. another one. No, it was that one. It was this one. Yeah, it was that one. Zoe's read him. I've been meaning to read him, and uh, Bjork likes him. I liked the cover art, that's how I got it. Yes. <laughs> it's very, uh, it, it, it grabs you, it does. It's a great aesthetic. All of his books look like this, and, and you this can't help This is the only one, I tried head. reading another one of his, and I did not like it at all. Yeah, I can't remember but which I one you tried to read. This, one. this is the one. Yeah, that's the one I liked. There was one that I tried to read after that, and I didn't. It was more fantasy based, yeah. and I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I remember now, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, doesn't matter. I got this, Lisa Moore. I read what it's about. I don't know if I like it, but I like her short stories, so. Give it a chance. Yeah, we'll see. Don't judge it by its cover. Yeah, the cover is terrible. The write up is awful. People, okay, whoever is writing Canadian fiction summaries needs to find another job and let someone else take it because yeah. the write-up for this in the, in the inside of the jacket is brutal. 
And if I was to base it on that, I would never read the book. This is a very exciting find for me. It's The Compass Stone by Fernando Arabelle. And Fernando Arabelle is someone who I knew only as a playwright, but uh, apparently he's a novelist as well. He's quite a prolific writer, and he belongs to, or he belonged to, sort of a movement, the Panic Movement, which included Alejandro Yodowski, of course, who we've spoken about before, and uh, Roland Topor, who's another novelist. One of his novels was adapted into The Tenant. Hmm. Roman Polanski. Hmm. So I've read his plays and loved them. They were sort of in the absurdist vein, a little more frantic as one would expect from a movement called Panic. And uh, I'm excited to see how his novels compare. I got Ida by Gertrude Stein, hmm. which you have already I've read your way through. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, yes. I haven't even had a chance to open it or haul it yet, and Matt's already oh, read it. Done. So I'm excited to read it too. Um, I'm pretty excited about that find. Yeah. You know, I talk a lot about poetry, but I, I don't actually buy a lot of poetry. Most of my poetry comes from libraries. There aren't a lot of poets who I, I reread, you know? T.S. Eliot, mm -hmm. Ginsburg, Pound maybe. I'm not sure about Pound yet. Yeah, I'm not sure about Pound. But this one I picked up not because Raymond I like... Raymond Trout. Oh, man. Wait, Raymond Trout? I don't know how to say her name. Oh, Ray Armentrout, yes. Yeah. I don't own any of her, but I should. She's fantastic. This is an author I picked up, not because I like his poetry, but it was cheap, I want to give him a chance. The poetry collection is When a Woman Loves a Man, and the poet is David Lemon. I don't know what to expect. What? How did you get turned on to him? Uh, that's the thing, I don't know how I got turned on to him. I remember his name sort of coming in, con in a conversation, maybe. And then I saw this, and it was marked down, and I thought, okay, I know this name. It's poetry. I'm reading a lot of poetry right now. I'll, I'll give him a chance. All right. I don't know. We'll see. Another thing that I picked up this month, basically because I liked her other book, is um, Jacob's Folly by Rebecca Miller. Um, I have tried reading this already, and I couldn't get into it, but I feel like... It's something I kind of want to have around because I feel like I will be into. My next book is The Rifles by William T. Volman, and this belongs to his series, Seven Dreams. Volume 6 of Seven Dreams, a book of North American landscapes. As I don't know, it's, it's a series that's about, it's historical and I'm not You're really never gonna into... Read it. I may never read You're it. You're never going to read that. But I like him as an author. I'm curious. We'll see if I actually read it. I think Zoe might be might be right about this, and I might just. Want to <laughs> I'm like looking myself. at the cover, and I'm already like. The eh. cover says I'm not gonna like it, but I I want to give him a chance. Why? I like I'm interested in him as a writer. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> You're not probably gonna review that one. No. <laughs> Something else I picked up on your recommendation. Yes. Is um Butterfield Eight by John O'Hara. I don't really know. It's about a call girl, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. You just, you recommended it and the cover's pretty... It just jumped out at me. I didn't, I haven't actually read it. I don't know what it's about. The cover kind of did it for me. It wasn't very expensive, so I thought, we'll give it a try. I don't read a lot of mystery, but I, I had to pick this up just because it's a beautiful copy of The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie. It's a facsimile edition, a reprint of the first, you know, it, it, it just looks... It's beautiful. ...old and beautiful and... Uh, whether or not I read it, I, I just, I had to have it. Another thing I bought, uh, I'm Nathaniel West. Day of the Locust. Yes. That's one of my favorite novels. That's one of his favorites. Look at this. This is a great copy. It's a pretty rad copy. I really one. love it. And I'm looking forward to, to reading it. I have read some Nathaniel West and it's one of his favorite books. Maybe we'll do a double team review. That'd be fantastic. Once I read it. He deserves <laughs> reviewing. Now, I'm sure we've mentioned Paul Auster before, but I've never actually heard of this one. Report from the Interior. We both love his New York trilogy, and uh, I recently read his collected poetry, so... Uh, well, really, we just pick up anything. Yeah. Paul Auster, he's a fantastic writer. He's a fantastic writer. So, we'll see. Um, I'm sure it's great, because it's Paul Auster. <laughs> so the next two are new books, which I don't get very often. No, not many. Like, this, I actually went to a bookstore, 
and bot. Wow. Which is... Out of character. Yeah, this is... Me going into a bookstore and buying something new is, is not often happens. It's unheard of. Um, and it is Rimbo, Rimbo? Rimbo, yeah. Rimbo's A Season in Hell. I really love Bob Dylan, and uh, he was quite inspired by this particular piece of, of work. And, and someone who's got a lot of play on our channel, The Preface is by Patti Smith. Fantastic. So when I saw this, I just loved the cover. I thought it was beautiful. Yes. And then when I saw that she did the intro, I was like, this is my copy of this. This is the one I'm supposed to buy. You had to buy it. So I did. I bought a book. On the subject of Patti Smith, I have a collection of uh, poetry by Jim Carroll. Jim Carroll and Patti Smith were pretty close. They were both writing in New York at the same time and both in the same kind of scene, the punk scene in New York. And uh, I think most people know Jim Carroll for the Basketball Diaries. But uh, I've never actually read his poetry. I love, I am so glad this is the copy that I ended it's up with because it's copy. beautiful. Um, that is uh, The Waves by Virginia Woolf. And isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It is. It is a new book, but it was a gift, which, as I said, it's very strange for me to buy a new book, so I'm very, very excited to uh, read this, and this copy is like, you know, mm. will find a very nice home on my shelf, because yeah. it's so pretty. My last book is God Knows by Joseph Heller. I probably won't read this until I read Catch-22. That's the Joseph Heller you read. I don't know why I bought this. Yeah, why did you buy that? I own Catch-22. I didn't need to buy it again. So I bought God Knows. And God knows, <laughs> God knows why I did that. You'll never read it. I may never. Well, I might like Catch-22 and then read it. But I haven't read Catch-22s. I so I don't know whether or not I like them yet. We'll find out. Maybe. I'll find out. May, or maybe I will find out. You might never find out. I got a lot to read. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And that's, that's it. it. That's it for our book haul for that's December, for January. For January, January book haul, yeah. yeah. Um, that's, we have nothing else to say. <laughs> Thank you for watching. No.